Now to the latest on the war in Ukraine and that setback for Ukrainian forces. Russia taking a key city in the eastern part of the country, helping to solidify its control over the region. Our foreign correspondent Tom Sufi Burridge is on the ground there in Ukraine with the latest. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Wit. Yes, the Ukrainians are being overwhelmed by the Russians out in the eastern Donbass. It's a brutal artillery fight, and despite new weapons for the Ukrainians from the US and the Europeans, the Russians are winning. This morning, Russia advancing again in eastern Ukraine, taking the city of Lysychansk, and with it, full control of the Luhansk region, the northern half of the Donbass. Russian forces seen celebrating in Lysychansk, in this video posted by a Russian Chechen leader. But look at the destruction Putin's offensive brought to the city, behind this reporter from Russian state media. The Kremlin-controlled channel also showing Russian and Soviet-type flags placed on state buildings. President Zelensky confirming his troops have retreated from the city, saying it was done to save the lives of soldiers. In Kiev, we spoke to a former U.S. Army infantryman fighting for Ukraine, who just returned from the front in the Donbass, asking us not to use his name, saying Ukrainian troops are completely outgunned. The front line is basically just the Russians shelling you constantly, indirect fire with either mortar systems or regular artillery. It's really, really, it's hell. The U.S. veteran saying Ukraine needs even more weapons from the U.S. and its allies to halt the offensive out east. The Russians had air supremacy, not just air superiority, air supremacy. And they just targeted us and hunted us 24-7. This is two other American fighters remain in captivity by Russian forces, Andy Huynh and Alexander Druki. Their families coming together for the first time, united in their mission to secure their release. They're great patriots. Mm -hmm. They love their country. But even more than that, they love liberty. Some days when I feel like I can't go on anymore, I know that everybody back here has my back. And, and it's just a wonderful feeling. Well, one key takeaway from that U.S. veteran is that this latest city to fall, Lysychansk, was an easier fight for the Russians. The Ukrainians still hold two key cities in the eastern Donbass, but soldiers telling us that the Ukrainians are really up against it right now. Wait. Really an alarming account from that American fighter, Tom. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.